All right, my name is Karani. I am the founder of Upelsoft Limited, uh, a company that is based in Kenya. My name is Mujira Davis. I'm the CEO at Spiderbit. My name is Vanessa Barrameda. I'm from Business Development of Surpass. And I'm JV Kolaiko. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of Surpass. My thinking as a developer is that open source is best because of course of the scalability of the applications. Uh, proprietary is good, yes, depending on where you are. But open source we, takes the day. Uh, that is where the world is going, of course. And of course, the, uh, because of the large communities out there, the community is huge for open source. That gives it, uh, that gives it uh, sustainability. Uh, proprietary can go down with the company. Uh, open source is out there. Uh, so people, even if maybe a company goes down, their developers are uh, spread across the globe. I know Odo, I know SAP, right? Of course, SAP is, is not an open source. And uh, Odo says is an open source, but some futures you have to pay for them, right? But the, the, the beauty of a fully open source is that you do not depend on one single provider for for. For ELP Next, if I have a challenge, I'm speaking on the behalf of the clients. If I have a challenge, I cannot maybe solely wait for, for a pay team to, to help out. I can always get even people from the rest of the world to, to solve an, an issue. Right? Open source allows me to solve a lot of problems uh, and quickly. For example, um, I'm no longer with Frappe, but I can still use all the code and solve the problems that my clients are facing. So that gives you a lot of freedom. When we contribute and community appreciates that, uh, it also builds our credential uh, in the industry. So mostly it is through content. I uh, create webinars, I create uh, short uh, videos, etc. So that also helps me uh, in getting more clients uh, and building my uh, uh, credentiality in this uh, industry. The way we contribute is basically uh, the feedback, normal feedback, yeah, fi figuring out bugs and of course giving feedback, that's really uh, one way. And of course, um, if we've developed something and tomorrow another developer in the community needs or faced a similar challenge, is able to share information. That's the beauty of the, of the, of the open source collaboration. Yeah. Of course, ERP Next. At the moment, it's ERP Next. So far, ERP Next. Um, first, um, Basavraj in, uh, showed me how the software works. So basically, I was working in um, Clarivate as a product manager. Uh, there, we had built an app on um, AWS. So for every small changes, I had to contact developers, get the changes done, etc. When he showed me ERP, it was like just on click of button, I can do. I was not, uh, I'm not a developer. I know pretty less coding. I'm an engineer, but I'm not a proper developer. So when he showed me what all can be done just by clicking a button, adding small codes uh, by custom scripts or depends on, etc. Uh, it was like a whole new world for me. I can build a product for a customer. So um, I joined Pactin and then um, there I met Atul, he showed me uh, that um, we can build an app from ERP next, I mean we don't have to basically use whatever is there, from that we can build a new app on hold together. Then um, we, I worked on so many projects and it was pretty easy, ERP is pretty easy when you compare to um, closed or, or um, Amazon or Odoo, etc. So, yeah. After working for enterprise solutions for about five years, I started thinking about how to scale in open source. So, I started implementing ERPs. My first ERP, which was Odoo, I worked on Odoo for uh, about uh, two years. Then I came across ERP Next later. And since then, I have not, never looked back. I've worked with ERP Next for about uh, four years now. Well, uh, before we, we, have, we had our own uh, ELP solution 
called Doxa. And uh, we've been offering to the market in Rwanda. And later on, we, one customer, uh, wanted an ERP solution, but was looking into uh, more of an open source software solution that does not uh, include lazy licensing or uh, even open to other future developments that is open to other developers. So uh, then that's how we came out to, we tapped into ELP Next and uh, we actually found the software was really uh, rich in terms of future, uh, fr friendly in terms of customization because we built a complete uh, standalone applications on Frappe, but we're able to integrate it with the ELP Next. Yeah. Uh, the custom customizability, the uh, ease of working with ERP Next to, to build custom solutions, and of course at a you know at a a price point that uh, very much suits uh, Filipino uh, uh, customers uh, has been very uh, has been has been great for us. Now we are calling it as no code or a low code platform, and there's a lot of awareness. But I think this is the original uh, low code or a no code platform where it is very easy to build doc types, to build uh, you know different views, be, uh, write some script without having to hire a developer and a DevOps team and all of that. It's very easy to quickly build a process uh, in ERP Next. Uh, of course, because of the simplicity at which it does things, the UI is great, uh, the application is totally open source. So these are just some of the advantages of ERP Next that I can think of uh, of head. And these are the reasons why I love Europe Next. Uh, I think I am a self-branded ambassador for Europe Next. I think how we can do, uh, you know, improve is, you know, it, it's kind of a hidden gem. Most people, if everyone knew uh, what Frappe is capable of and what Europe Next is capable of, I think uh, the industry would look very different. So I think we have to now work on taking the product to a lot more people maybe through the community, uh, I think that will uh, become kind of a flywheel. More people we get involved, more the contributions come and that just builds on top of itself.